All right, guys, this time we'll be installing Angular together with Angular Material. First, we'll install Node.js on our system. So we enter in the terminal. Here, I'm using Ubuntu. And inside of the terminal, we can just type sudo apt install Node.js. Next, we'll install node package manager. So we'll type sudo apt install npm. And we'll wait for the operation to uh, finish. The npm is installed. Now we'll go to angular.io and here we see that we can install the Angular CLI using the npm package manager. We'll first update our version of uh, node package manager. Uh, so we use this command npm install minus global npm at latest and before this we'll type sudo just to give permissions to install the libraries in the specific locations and afterwards we'll go to the angular CLI help and we will copy this npm install minus global angular CLI uh, package and we use it here. Uh, so this will install the Angular CLI into our computer. Of course, we'll have to give uh, pseudo privileges for this command too. All right, we see that the Angular CLI is, is installed. And now we can actually go, let's say, to the desktop and uh, inside type ng new booking this will be the name of our application so angular will start uh, scaffolding and creating uh, this application for us and it asks us interactively would you like to add a routing we'll add a routing uh, we will use a normal css and so those are the files that angular creates for us and of course, in the meantime, a lot of uh, the modules which Angular uses uh, will be uh, downloaded. So it will take some time. Okay. The scaffolding of application um, is almost finished. Uh, so we can just type ng-surf. Of course, we have to go to our uh, project directory which is called booking and uh, here we'll just type uh, ng-surf so this will load up a special a server into a memory and it will open up at port uh, 4200 afterwards the modules will be compiled and uh, a lot of resources will be uh, minified optimized and Actually, we can browse our project by typing this uh, address in our browser. So we'll just open a new tab and launch our application. And that's it. This is the scaffolding uh, of a normal uh, Angular application and it's running uh, smoothly. The next step is to add uh, angular material to this application so we can just go to material.angular.io and in the getting started guide we see that there are different steps we uh, can uh, perform in order to install angular material so first we'll run uh, this command here again using npm we'll install the material cdk and animations packages Okay, we'll open up a new terminal or we just stop with control C this uh, application from running. And here we'll paste the whole command. So we see that this command has added our packages, uh, latest versions. And the next step is uh, to add uh, the material to our project. So we are in the directory of our project and we will just uh, type ng add 
that then your material. We can choose which kind of team we would like to have. And then we would like to use browser animations. So this will update our package.json file. And of course, download uh, certain dependencies and we will set up our project. And actually we see that uh, our application files are being updated. So we have successfully installed Angular Material and can uh, actually browse through the uh, components and install them into our application. So that's it guys, enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe for the channel.